Crystal is back. And we are taking off her 4th of July stuff because I know she's got to be sick of looking at red, white, and blue. Now, red, white, and blue is really pretty for the 4th of July, Memorial Day, whatever it is. But when it's time to go, guys, it is time to go. I mean... You just want to wear that red, white, and blue design to a barbecue or something or whatever, and then you just are ready to get it off. So, let's get something more bright and summery on. Yes. Okay? So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick some colors, and I ended up this in this one. Sorry, hot mess. You're out of here. I only need three. No, what do I need? Four? I only need four. I only needed four for this look. So we're going to do the solid Euro Fuchsia on the pinky. We're going to do some zebra on this nail. So I'm going to put down two coats of white. And when you're doing two coats of white or black, try to go thin in case you have any trouble with it curing, wrinkling, peeling. And if you are having a problem with wrinkling um, and peeling and all of that shit, okay, First, you need to start at the base of the nail on an empty nail. You need to make sure that there are no oils or residue from soap or anything from washing your hands. Please excuse my finger, you guys. It was a major tragedy, but it, it needs to dry out, so I need to keep it uncovered. And um, so you want to make sure your nail is completely clean and dehydrated of any oils or whatever. Then you want to go in thinly. Okay, make sure your gel is good and then you want to make sure you're curing it properly for the uh, the proper allotted time and you want to make sure your lamp is working up to par as well. If all of those are going on and it's still wrinkling or whatever, um, maybe you just need to get a different brand of gel or a different bottle of gel. Maybe it was just a bad batch. Who knows? I'm going to go in with, with my Sakura number two, and we're going to do some zebra stripes. Zebra can be really easy. You're just going to make like wavy lines and just kind of come off the side of the one and maybe not on the next one. Just go back and forth, back and forth. Everybody has a different uh, method to doing their zebra, and you really can't go wrong. As long as it's black and white, guys, come on, don't stress out about it, okay? We're going to use my silver platinum from the DND DC collection for the silver line down the center to separate these two. And then, guys, after a top coat, this is a very cool, simple look. And here's the final look.